Okay, so let's just show a little bit on how to do these calculations for the aspirin lab. Um, some of them are pretty straightforward. The only one that has, I know, and you may have to be doing this in lecture, so uh, during lab period, so you know maybe you won't be able to see this until it's too late, or you could try to watch it beforehand. But um, the one problem that people do have is trying to figure out the percentage of salicylate that's still left in their sample. Okay, so they're adding this iron nitrate um, solution. Um, you make up that solution of your aspirin, you have some amount. Um, so let's say we take 100 milligrams, we or 100 grams of sample, or 100 milligrams of sample, 0.100 gram of sample, and then we add it following the rules, okay? And, and so what happens with this iron reaction, uh, it's not really that complicated, but it's a one-to-one -one complex, okay? So, okay, and we know the instructor should probably give you that the extinction coefficient here is 950 molar per centimeter. Okay, so, so now if we try to figure out what percent salicylate impurity we have, we need to figure out how much salicylate's there. So let's say we get an absorbance, I don't know, 0 0.2. Okay. And so we can use Mohl's law, or Beer's law, sorry, A equals BC. We'll assume that our path length is one centimeter so that, and so we know what this is. So we have 0 0.2 equals 950 um, times one times C. So C then would equal, um, <coughs> you just divide that, get 0 0.2 divided by 950, and you would get 2.1 times the minus fourth molar, okay? So um, you know then that in that sample, that's the concentration, okay? So if I remember right, your solution is 50 milliliters. So we know that we've got 2.1 times 10 to the minus fourth moles of salicylate per liter, okay? And we've got 0.05 liters, all right? So then that will give us the moles of salicylate and then the, the mass of salicylic acid, um, the mass of salicylic acid is 138 grams per mole, okay? So if we do that math then, what that gives us then is 0 0.0015 grams of salicylic acid. Okay, that doesn't seem like very much, but then if we want mass percent then, that will be the mass Impurity is 1.5 divided by 0 0.100, okay, and so then times 100%, that equals 1.5% impurity, okay? So it's a pretty straightforward calculation once you sort of think about the process, okay? So now, because one mole of salicylic acid gives this absorb this, this species, so that we, we didn't put in the conversion factor, because technically what you're measuring is the absorbance of this, but you know that this is one to one with this. Okay?